Hi YouTube, thank you for coming back for another video. I'm so freaking excited to be here filming this video today because I've been thinking about it all week long since I came up with this video idea, Sunday at the gym. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little intimidated. I went at a different time than I normally go. I didn't know a single soul in there and there were guys with shoulders like the size of my head and there were like really pretty girls with like abs and I'm like, oh my God, I don't belong here. I'm so intimidated, what should I do? I should make a YouTube video to talk about how I dealt with it. That's what we're doing today. Gym intimidation. That's intimidation in the gym. If you didn't get that, let's go. This is the second time I filmed this video. Don't ask me why. I came up with s not seven, six, six different ways to help you deal with gym intimidation. It's something I've dealt with when I first started working out and still deal with every time I get a new gym, try a new gym, and traveling to a different gym and I don't know where anything is, or there's just a completely different crowd that I'm not used to, and I feel like everyone is like super ripped and shredded and I'm over here like sup I'm fluffy you're not alone if you deal with gym intimidation so <clears throat> my first tip numero uno first of all actually actually before we go into any of this if you guys can't tell I got a ring light so pumped because this lighting is just it's a game changer it's so much better than the freaking window where i'm sitting on the floor i can like sit on real furniture i actually did buy a tapestry 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 i don't know how to say that word you know what i mean though like those big cloth things you hang on the wall i bought a really cute one it's not here yet i'm gonna hang on the wall behind this youtube channel is let's be lit litty committee we're getting lit in here it's becoming a real can I say I'm completely kidding will did tell me that getting a ring light is like the whitest thing I've ever done and I said you know what you're not wrong because this is pretty basic pretty white I've done some pretty white things in my life but this this is probably the top of the list but anyway that's why the lighting looks so great and I'm so pumped about it let's continue with what we were talking about I was about to tell you my first tip for dealing with gym intimidation number one have a plan when you go into the gym Know what you're doing, even if it makes you feel better. Plan out your entire workout. Pull out your notes section on your phone, make a list. I'm doing three sets of this, three sets of this. That way, when you're about to start the last set of your exercise, you know exactly where you're going next and what you're doing. You can even write down the weight. That way you know, all right, I am gonna do bicep curls on the cable, and then I'm gonna go pick up the 12 pound dumbbells. It just, it, it you keep your head down, you stay focused, you don't have to like, kind of wander around and feel stupid, you know exactly where you're going. My mom does this, actually. She plans out her whole workout ahead of time and then puts little like emojis. Shout out to my mom. She puts little emojis for each set. So every day is a different set. Like the other day she sent me a screenshot of her workout that she had written out in the notes section on her phone. Every set got a butterfly. So, you know, it's the little things. It's, it's the little things. So my next tips, two and three, they kind of go together. Um, the first is to just tune out the whole world. Put a hat on and put headphones on and don't worry about anyone but yourself. You can't hear anyone. If you put your hat on right, you won't see anyone and all is well in the world. You don't have to see what's around you. You don't have to like be constantly comparing yourself to the other people and it just kind of helps you like do you. You don't worry about anyone else. The second part to that is dressing cute. You can judge me all you want, but the cuter you feel in the gym, the better you'll feel and the better you'll work out. You're not going to be like, like running around. Like sometimes I'll wear a crop top on days where I like, I should not wear a crop top and I have a terrible workout because I'm like, ugh, I feel so like fluffy. I feel uncomfortable. Dress cute, dress so you feel comfortable and you feel good because you will have a better workout and you won't feel self-conscious compared to the other people in there comparison is the theft of joy that's like a, an old quote i don't know who said it but it's so true don't compare yourself to anyone else focus on you what do i say i say look good feel good lift good that's what you do my next tip is something that i put into practice almost every time i go to the gym 
go when it's not busy. If you have ever been inside a gym on a weeknight at like five, six, seven o'clock, you'll know that it's a straight up zoo. There's people everywhere. There's like meatheads like throwing weights around, not unracking stuff. And it's just like so intimidating. There's someone like standing around like feeding for the bench that you're using and just waiting for the second that you get up. It is not a friendly environment if it's a busy gym. So I go first thing in the morning because I just, I enjoy it much better and it's way less crowded and it can really help. I, I was in, it wasn't that long ago actually. I went to the gym, I had to lift like after work for some reason and I went in at like five something and I was like, I am so intimidated in this gym right now. I can't even deal with it. Yeah, I don't know. I just. Go, go when it's less busy. I promise it will help with the intimidation. And plus, this is kind of another thing. If you go at the same time every day, you'll start to see a lot of the same people and you don't have to necessarily become best friends with them, but start to feel a lot more comfortable because you see the same people every day, you can smile, say hi. You just, it almost just feels like a family. Okay, number five. It is, I forget what number five was. Oh. Number five, stay on the same machine the entire workout. Don't call me crazy because I just did it the other day. That's actually how I formulated this idea for this video. I was in the gym on Sunday and I was like, what the heck, I don't know anyone. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna go do shoulders on the cable. Cable's in the corner. I have one of those cable machines where it can start low, it can go all the way up to the top and anywhere in between, you can change the attachment from a bar to a, like a single arm thing to a rope and you can do so much stuff on those cables. And I stood there for probably like 75% of my workout until I had to go grab some dumbbells and do that kind of stuff. But it can really help if you just stay in one spot the whole time. And if, if, if like you don't love the cable and you wanna do like legs or something, legs are kind of hard to do on the cable. Um, if your gym has one of those like um, rooms where they do classes, and there's not a class going on, you can just grab some weights and just go in there and do your whole workout in there. It's, it's a lot less intimidating if you kind of just stay in one spot, do your own little thing in your own little corner and you don't really have to like walk through the gym and like just you see way less people and it's, it's calming. It helps with the intimidation. Okay, and my last tip is a mindset thing. So being in the gym, you have to ask yourself why you're there. And if you're there for the right reasons, you're there to better yourself and you want to focus on you, spend the hour that you're in there just tuning out the world, de-stressing and bettering yourself. I would say probably the majority of people in the gym are doing the same thing. They're not worried about what you're doing, they're there to focus on them. And if someone is in there with the wrong intentions, then that's on them. Don't feel intimidated by the people around you because they're, they're not worried what you're doing or why you're doing a certain workout because they're just there to focus on themselves. I hope you can put these six tips into practice and if you guys have any questions, um, don't feel don't feel free. Good, good. Any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm more than happy to help and that is just so salesy of me. I say that all the time at work. Ugh, why did I say that? I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to be here for you. Um, I'm just gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I've got some videos in the pipeline, so I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!